Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. And peace be with you. And with your spirit. My brothers and sisters, let us once again acknowledge our sins and to prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mystery. Confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask, Blessed Mary of the Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Christ have mercy. Christ have Lord have, mercy. Lord have mercy. Let us pray. Rejoice in this annual celebration of our Lenten observance, as we do. We pray, O Lord, that with our hearts set on the Paschal mysteries, we may be gladdened by their full effect. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. A reading from the book of the prophet Hosea. Come, let us return to the Lord. It is he who has rent, but he will heal us. He has struck us, but he will bind our wounds. He will revive us after two days. On the third day, he will raise us up to live in his presence. Let us know, let us strive to know the Lord as certain as the dawn is his coming, and his judgment shines forth like the light of day. He will come to us like the rain, like spring rain that waters the earth. What can I do with you, Ephraim? What can I do with you, Judah? Your piety is like a morning cloud, like the dew that early passes away. For this reason I smote them through the prophets, I slew them by the words of my mouth. For it is love that I desire, not sacrifice, and knowledge of God rather than burnt offerings. The word of the Lord. It is mercy I desire and not sacrifice. It is mercy I desire and not sacrifice. Have mercy on me, O God, in your goodness. In the greatness of your compassion, wipe out my offense. Thoroughly wash me from my guilt, and of my sin cleanse me. It is mercy I desire, not sacrifice. For you are not pleased with sacrifices. Should I offer a burnt offering, you would not accept it. My sacrifice, O God, is a contrite spirit. A heart contrite and humble, O God, you will not spurn. It is mercy I desire, not be bountiful, O Lord, to Zion in your kindness, by rebuilding the walls of Jerusalem. Then shall you be pleased with sacrifices, burnt offerings, and holocausts. It is mercy I desire, not sacrifice. Glory and praise to you, Lord Jesus. Jesus Christ. Glory and praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. If today you hear his voice, harden not your hearts. Glory and praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you. Jesus addressed this parable to those who were convinced of their own righteousness and despised everyone else. Two people went up to the temple area to pray. One was a Pharisee, the other was a tax collector. The Pharisee took up his position and spoke this prayer to himself. O oh God, I thank you that I am not like the rest of humanity, greedy, dishonest, adulterous, or even like this tax collector. I fast twice a week. I pay tithes on my whole income. But the tax collector stood off at a distance 
and would not even raise his eyes to heaven, but beat his breast and prayed, O God, be merciful to me, a sinner. I tell you, the latter went home justified, not the former. For everyone who exalts himself will be humbled, and the one who humbles himself will be exalted. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. My dear friends, today we conclude the third week of Lent. Tomorrow, the fourth Sunday of Lent, which we went by the name Leitare Sunday, Leitare Sunday because of the first word of the entrance antiphon for the Mass for tomorrow, from the Latin for rejoice, taken from the 66th chapter of the prophet Isaiah, verses 10 and 11, which make up the entrance antiphon for, today, for tomorrow's Mass. But that word rejoice in the entrance antiphon for tomorrow is really an anticipation of the joy of Easter, which is now fast approaching. And that anticipation of the joy of Easter is also intended by the use of rose rather than the Lenten violet as a liturgical color for tomorrow. Our first reading today, this Saturday of the third week of Lent, comes from again the prophet Hosea. It's our second day in a row that we have the privilege of words from the prophet Hosea. And again, what we find in his words is that action verb for Lent, return, return to the Lord. Turn away from sin, return to the Lord. Those are the action words for Lent, as we've said more than once before. And they take us back, actually, to Ash Wednesday, where we find the prophet Joel himself saying, even now, says the Lord, return to me with your whole heart. Rend your heart, not your garments, and return to the Lord. In his first reading yesterday, the prophet Isaiah left us with some very, very memorable words for us to ponder having told us about the importance of returning to the Lord. He says, straight are the paths of the Lord. In them the just walk, but sinners stumble in them. We will have to think about them, to ponder them in the course of yesterday. Today he comes back to us again, again talking about returning. He says, come, let us return to the Lord. It is he who has rent but will also heal us. He has struck us, but he will bind our wounds. And once again, some very significant parting words, he says, for it is love I desire, not sacrifice, a knowledge of God rather than burnt offerings. And now having heard those words, we then turn our attention to today's gospel. And today's gospel really is an example of how not to pray and how to pray. Prayer, almsgiving, and fasting, they are the traditional Lenten disciplinary penances. And the gospel from Ash Wednesday again gave us instructions as to how to do them, each one. When fasting, do not look glum like the hypocrites, the gospel says, so that everybody knows that you are fasting. When almsgiving, the gospel says, don't make a show of it. In fact, let not your left hand know what your right hand is doing. And when praying, it says, withdraw to the privacy of your room to pray to the Father, and your Father who sees in private will pay you. How to pray again is emphasized in our gospel today with a very, very vivid example. 
It comes from Luke chapter 18, verses 9 to 14. Read it again. Read it again and pay careful attention to what it is saying to us as we come to this turning point, this midpoint in the season of Advent. Lent, sorry, the season of Lent. My friends, tomorrow is the joyful occasion of the 100th birthday of Miss, Lo Miss Lois Louise Violet Bossfield. Miss Bossfield is a member of Holy Family Parish and very engaged and active in the parish. And she turns 100 years tomorrow. So on this occasion, we join with her family. We join with Brother Jay Cartwright, Deacon Darcy Ramming, the entire Holy Family Parish, and especially the, the Ladies Auxiliary, of which Ms. Bosfield is a very active member. We join all of them in wishing her a happy birthday. And on this occasion, I want to extend to her a special blessing. Good and gracious God, we thank you for the gift of life, especially for your daughter, Louise Violet Bosfield. We ask that you grant her the joy of your nearness and the embrace and love of her family on this occasion. We ask that you keep her near to you and comfort her always with your loving presence. And bless her as I bless her in your name, in the name of the Father, the Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. So dear friends, we turn our attention now to all our needs as we lift our hearts and voices in our prayers of petition. We pray today for the church throughout the world as we all continue our Lenten journey, that we may do so with hearts open to the gospel's call for returning to the Lord and hearts open to the joyful news of Easter, which is not too far away. For this we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for Francis, our Pope, that he may continue to lead us after the manner of Christ the Good Shepherd. For this we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for our nation as we begin the approach of the distribution of vaccines against COVID-19, that this exercise may be done without successfully and without any, any hiccups. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for all those who, by virtue of their vocation, their profession, their work, may find themselves exposed to infection by COVID-19, that the Lord may grant them healing protection, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all those who have died recently and for their families, may the Lord draw the dead to himself and grant comfort to those left behind to mourn, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And now in silence, let us put before the Lord whatever needs we find weighing most heavily upon each of our hearts. Hear us, Lord, we pray, and grant our needs in accord with your will. In a special way, we bless your daughter, Miss Bosfield, this day, and keep us always grateful and faithful to you, especially for the gift of life and family. For this we ask, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands that have become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God of God. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Through the divine work of human hands that have become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God of God. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, Father, and good of all his holy church. O God, by whose grace it comes to pass that we may approach your mysteries with mind made pure, grant, we pray, that in reverently handing them on, we may offer you fitting homage through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. And lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, 
always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you have given your children a sacred time for the renewing and purifying of their hearts, that freed from disordered affections, they may so deal with the things of this passing world as to hold rather to the things that eternally endure. And so with all the angels and saints, we praise you as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving you thanks, he broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sin. Do this in memory of me. mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you've held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, with me, your unworthy servant, the order of bishops, all the clergy, and your entire faithful people. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and with all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs of eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O oh God, Almighty Father, with the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, and graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Lamb of God. You take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Now, dear friends, once again we make our act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are really present in the Blessed Sacrament. I love you above all things, and I hunger to receive you. Since I cannot receive communion at this moment, feed my soul at least spiritually, 
I unite myself wholly to you now as I do when I actually receive you. Permit me never to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. May we truly revere, O merciful God, these holy gifts by which you ceaselessly nourish us, and may we always partake of them with abundant faith in our hearts, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Hold out to your faithful people, Lord, the right hand of heavenly assistance, that they may seek you with all their heart and merit the granting of what they ask, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with you, Spirit. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Now and forever. Our help is in the name of the Lord. Who made heaven and earth. Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. My dear friends, as we end our daily um, live stream mass today, I wish to thank you all for taking the time to join me in this, our little chapel here at the Hermitage to celebrate the mass today. I remind you that tomorrow our stream mass for the Archdiocese comes from St. Thomas More Church. Father Junior Calix and the community of St. Thomas More. It's at 9 a.m. But also I remind you that tonight you must set your clocks ahead one hour because we begin daylight saving time. So you don't want to be late for anything tomorrow. So remember, we jump ahead with daylight saving time. Today is our last day of um, Eastern Standard Time. Tomorrow we have daylight saving time. So you won't, don't want to miss that. Set your clocks ahead an hour tonight before you go to bed. Don't forget. And of course, we're still in the pandemic, so be safe, be disciplined, be consistent, be serious. We're practicing our, our safety protocols. God bless you. Have a wonderful day.